Well, hello, my friend. Welcome to the podcast. How are you doing? Thank you so much for allowing me back into your ears. If you're a regular listener of the podcast, you can hear that I have a stuffed nose today and a really weird voice. I apologize. I'm not quite sure if it's a sinus cold or if it's allergies. I feel okay, but it sounds weird. So I hope you can bear with me. So I wanted to celebrate great news here with you because during the first quarter of 2024, I was going through an intense astrology training and I'm happy to say that I passed the final exam and I'm so proud of myself. It was quite demanding, but sometimes it's really good to challenge oneself, right? So stay tuned for more content around astrology and and how astrology can help with decluttering and finances. And yeah, just in general, how to bring more peace in our life and business with astrology. And just because (laughs) the topic is astrology today, I want to focus on Mercury retrograde. The planet of communication and transportation has turned around today, actually, April 1st, if you listen to this right when it comes out. And he is going to be retrograde for a three week session and is going backwards until April 25th. And a lot of people freak out when they hear that Mercury is retrograde because things could go wrong or be delayed. And that is true. The planet Mercury rules communication, contracts, agreements, transportation, scheduling and technology. So if something goes wrong, (laughs) it does affect our daily life and most likely our business. And I actually experienced that already today. A Teams meeting didn't want to work right. I couldn't hear the other people. They could hear me, but I couldn't hear them. And yeah, no rebooting and no fiddling with the settings helped. It was funny in a way um, how it showed already up. Yeah, so here a little bit of a list what all could go wrong in these three weeks. So first of all, communication is harder and listening to other people seems harder too. And therefore, a lot of misunderstandings can happen really easily. The other thing is we might be more forgetful. (laughs) And if you're anything like me, I'm already forgetful. So anything more is um, not very great. And um, the other thing is too, is like we might be less patient and have a shorter fuse, so to speak. So yeah, be mindful, be patient and understanding when communicating becomes a challenge. Also, for example, really read or reread emails and text messages twice to see if if when you're writing them, if they really express what you mean to say. But when you're getting emails and text messages, try to read them correctly and don't jump to conclusions because you could misunderstand. And if in doubt, ask clarifying questions before you get ticked off or insulted by by something that someone sends to you, right? Or says to you also. So the other thing that is also important is you want to avoid signing important contracts, especially if you're a bit unsure about them. Remember misunderstandings. So you might not understand 100% what you're signing or what you're getting into. So it's better to not sign anything important. You can review contracts, projects and plans, and you could agree with the other party that it is your intent to sign the contract, but to actually sign it is better to wait until after the 25th of April. In transportation, we could have some snafus as well. You could miss a train or a plane connection. That could be a little bit disturbing. Uh, Your car could break down or you may end up in traffic jams. You could get you could be late for meetings, appointments, and no matter how early you leave, Uh, Because that's just uh, the energy that is right now um, happening. The other thing is this ties in with communication. You might understand when and where the appointment is and end up in the wrong place or at the wrong time, right? So again, transportation, communication, and then also technology. Your computer could crash 
or just like for me, <laughs> the sound may not work. And uh, I really hope you get this podcast because I'm recording it on the first day of Mercury Retrograde. Yeah, so your computer could crash. So you want to make sure you have a backup. And if you don't have one yet, really make a backup right away, right? So that you have one in case your computer crashes. Software updates could go wrong. I, I don't know whether you ever had that, but I had that once where I did an update and then nothing worked anymore. <laughs> and so maybe you don't want to update your computer or your smartphone until after the April 25th. Yeah, so in short, in life and business, Mercury retrograde periods can cause our plans to go uh, topsy-turfy, how my friend Michelle from Australia would say. So they just snafus happens, right? But that doesn't mean you need to be worried or stop living and working. It simply means that you want to be especially flexible and plan in extra time for travel, for example, leave extra early to get to meetings and appointments, and also have a backup plan, a plan B in place, right? So good. Without that out of the way, let's focus on the good sides of Mercury Retrograde, the things that this time is very beneficial for. Because it is a fabulous time for clearing clutter, also for rethinking and regrouping of what you're doing, revisiting topics, um, trying to ponder about them and, and see whether you can resolve them, wrapping up and finishing up projects and tasks, but also fixing broken things. Especially unfinished things and projects and items in need of fixing are an often overlooked category of clutter, but we all have them, <laughs> me included, really. And you can listen to my other episodes about the cat categories of clutter and how unfinished things are really clutter. So in short, in these three weeks, you want to clear your plate and clean up stuff so you can move on in your life and business with less clutter and less chaos. So let's look into it in a little bit more detail. So for example, in the physical space, one little, well, I don't want to say warning, but just be mindful. You don't want to decide in these three weeks to get rid of dilemma items. Dilemma items that are, are items that you are wondering whether or not you should let go off. And in these three weeks, that's not a good time to decide you want to get rid of them because you might regret it later, maybe. Because as I said before, we might not be all clear. And so you could regret your decision. So just leave dilemma items to the side. But everything else is really best time to declutter now. So you could, for example, do a love tour and try to see your home and office with fresh eyes and then reflect on it, rethink how you want to use your space, maybe journal about it even, and then reconfigure your space, maybe rearrange your space. I did that recently um, because I have now a stand-up desk and I have a bigger screen. So now I have almost like two workspaces, one where I can stand and one where I can sit. And uh, I did that during the last Mercury retrograde. I reconfigured my space. So that is a good good um, time to do that. Just not make big structural changes, right? For that, it's not the right time. But just like shoveling around <laughs> the computer or, or pushing around furniture, that works. That works great. Yeah, and then find things that need fixing, like whatever you have broken or unfinished. In the house, you might have leaky faucets or, or a drawer that is stuck and doesn't slide nice anymore or light bulbs that needs, need to be um, exchanged because they're burned out. Now is really the time to take care of your physical environment, of your home and your workspace. And just do all these little things, these little things that you have pushed <laughs> in front of you for so long already. Take care of them now. And since Mercury also rules transportation, how about you declutter and clean out your car maybe and go and do that overdue oil change, fill up the windshield washing fluid, check the pressure in your tire, all these little things that we tend to neglect, but that are important. And since Mercury is um, also ruling transportation, you want to make sure your car is in perfect uh, shape so that it doesn't break down, right? 
if we're in the office or even in 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 your private life um, you will want to go through the pile of paper that we have piled up somewhere to go through one day <laughs> in the future so maybe you start really clearing that pile and you start with five minutes a day you know and process these papers and again if you are iffy about a paper because it could be an important one then keep it for a bit longer but I know when I work with my clients there is so much that they know already they want to get rid of there is no if um, if or when about it it's just they haven't done it yet so just get rid of all these things and, and then maybe for the future you want to start not piling up these things. So I was just talking with a friend this week and she was so surprised that I could pull up an article about gardening within seconds that I had on my computer. And she said, no, oh, she has such a big pile that she needs to sort and file and that she couldn't pull up just an article like this. And I said, well, it's really better to have a system and then save this stuff right away instead of letting it pile up because nobody wants to go through a huge pile of papers to file, me included, right? Bite the bullet and uh, go through your pile that you have right now. And then in the future, don't let it pile up anymore. Do every every day or every other day, right away, file these things. So they're put away, right? And then another thing you wait, might want to uh, start doing is while you're going through that pile of paper, there might be important documents in there that you need to really keep on in a safe place I have a list of what all emergency or important documents are and how I keep them so go on my website and find that article where I talk about it or actually I will put the link in the show notes so you can find it so what are important documents for our life and especially also for our business and how should we keep them so that we have them in case of an emergency right and then, for example, in the social environment, if you have a, be a very cluttered schedule or an overfull schedule, I think maybe it's time to go through it and see what you could kick out and create some more elbow space for yourself. Or if you find that you don't have enough time allocated for important relationships or for your family, then go in and clear out some not so important or necessary stuff and put in time with your family and friends and then we get to the, to health health is also an area where you want to review your schedule maybe and see whether you need to put more time in for your health either to go to the gym or go for a walk or go do yoga or meditation or anything that is really good for your health because remember I always say too it's like clear and clutter is self-love and it is reducing stress and our body is often stressed when we work I for sure know when I sit all day I need to go and go for a walk luckily my little dog Marty he tells me every day we need to go for a walk so I can pr prioritize it but I can be just like you and not prioritize it and then a week goes by and I haven't done anything for my health. So maybe you want to review your calendar and see whether you really do enough for your health. And then for the mental health, Mercury Retrograde is a great opportunity to look inward and reviewing and reevaluating our circumstances and intentionally let go of limiting beliefs and stories that keep us stuck which I call mental clutter, right? Just like, what are you telling yourself that you can't do or like you can't make space for health, for example? Well, yes, you can, because if you don't, then maybe your body breaks down in the most inconvenient moment and you will have to take time. So you, we better do it proactively and intentionally, right? slowing down which uh, also helps avoid miscommunication and mishaps of all kind as much as we can and as it is in our power uh, is really good in these three weeks taking time to reflect on where we are right now and where we are headed we already have one quarter behind us in 2024 so only three more quarters left are you on track with your goals maybe you want to review your goals revise your goals i sure had to revise my goals 
and to see that we are on the right path where we actually want to go. So these are all excellent steps to do during Mercury retrograde. Again, slowing down and making sure that no mishaps are happening and also that you're on the right track. Yeah, so <laughs> I come to an end here because you're probably sick, sick and tired of my weird voice. <clears throat> I have a really hard time now to talk anyway. So let's summarize. So during these, during these three weeks of Mercury retrograde, you want to A, slow down and be very aware that Mercury rules communication, contracts, agreements, transportation, scheduling, and technology. And keep that in mind that things in those areas are more likely to go wrong or get delayed. <laughs> Snafus can happen. So be prepared, be flexible, and have a plan B. And second, instead of starting new projects and signing important contracts, which I really don't recommend you do, rather wrap up and bring already started projects and tasks to an end, clear your clutter and chaos and fix minor broken things. Also step back and review all areas of your life, including your health and your schedule. And make sure you are heading in the direction you want to head into. Okay, my friend, that's it for today. Thanks for bearing with me and with my weird voice. Have a beautiful week and talk to you next time. Take good care and be safe. You can bring your chaos to me. Use the link in the show notes and sign up for a complimentary 30-minute Chaos to Peace Jumpstart call where we will address your most pressing pain point around clutter and chaos and how to solve it in a few minutes a day. And if you're ready, we can also discuss options for moving forward together and how I can help you out with, on your journey from chaos to peace. You'll find the links to sign up in the show notes.